Hmm. So you want to talk about something that just got completely, like, pushed under the rug in Bleach? Like, we're not even talking about something that is disappointing so much as just non-existent. Um, so, you might remember back in the Soul Society arc, there was kind of like this throwaway line where whenever Toshiro was talking about the Central 46, which, by the way, did I ever do a Central 46 discussion video? I have not, huh? Well, anyway, when he was discussing the Central 46, he was talking about how they're the highest law in the Soul Society, you know, not even a captain can overturn their decisions, you know, uh, 40 sages and six judges, and then after they, they decide on a sentence for the p the person or persons for whatever crime, uh, they can choose for the Gote 13, the Stealth Core, or the Keto Core to fulfill that sentence, to carry it out. And we're sitting there like, oh, okay, well, we already know what the Gote 13 is at this point. They were flushed out pretty well in the Soul Society arc. The Stealth Core, a little bit, you know, with Soy Foam, but we just found that out, like, at the very end of the Soul Society arc with uh, the fight between Yoruichi and Soy Foam. But the Keto Core, we were like, wow, okay, I mean, it makes sense for them to exist. I mean, Keto is one of the main combat uh, methods for the Shinigami, so I'm like, all right, an entire division just dedicated to Keto usage. You know, it instantly inspired me, like, this is some, like, Hogwarts shit here, or some, you know, like, like, a deep underground, the Seirete, there's, like, a secret, like, cult or society that, you know, they, they dedicate themselves to studying Keto and, and, you know, amassing their knowledge together, like a bunch of wise men, essentially. Well... <laughs> didn't really turn out that way. In fact, it really didn't go anywhere. The only time they're even mentioned and it's were even worth a shit to talk about is the time that uh, during Turn Back the Pendulum where we see Tessai and Hachi. Uh, or I guess Hachi Gen back then. So uh, back then, Tessai was the Grand Keto Elder, like the Grand Keto Commander. He was the leader of the Keto Corps as well as the most proficient Keto user in the entire Soul Society. And then you have Hachi Gen there who is his Vice Captain, or I guess Vice Commander. They don't, they don't follow the same rank ranking system as the Gote does. Um, now, I think it was mentioned even here when Yamamoto stated that, you know, that he's bringing in the Keto Corpse for this. Uh, is it Corpse or Core? I feel like I should go Green Lantern with this and just say Core, but whatever. Anyway, bringing them in, that's a big deal, and all the other captains were like, whoa, like, no no one ever even sees them. They usually just work in the shadows. I'm like, alright, okay, Kubo. They, they work in the shadows. That's why we never get to see them. I guess they also work in the shadows when the entire soul society gets fucking leveled and you know you have vice captains and captains dropped in like flies the, gr the captain commander himself dies you don't want to show up to maybe help out repair the place at all you think keto would be massively useful in that maybe set up a barrier or two i mean i'm not saying it would have helped but you know <sighs> Alright, well anyway, yeah, so that's the reason that we're, we don't see them all that often. They're like this underground society that only shows up when the Captain Commander or the Central 46, like, gives explicit orders for them to help out. Um, as with the case with Turn Back the Pendulum, you had the Captains disappearing in the Rukong guy. So, I think originally Tessai was supposed to go, but then, uh, instead of him, Hachi went in his place along with Lisa... And eventually, Tessai and Uehara get roped into it, and they go, and, you know, that's the moment where Tessai has to use his forbidden keto techniques, you know, the ability to stop time and freeze everything in, one, like, a temporal space or whatever, and then, you know, shift it all over, teleporting, basically. So we're like, oh, okay, so we're finding out a lot about this, uh, the keto core here. We're finding out that they work in the shadows, that Tessai used to be the captain of it. I'm a little bit, I guess I'm, I'm a little bit stating that underwhelmingly, because back at the, at the time, everyone was like, holy shit, Tessai! You mean that random guy that was just, like, helping out at the Urahara shop, you know, that, you know, might or may, may or may not be sexually involved with Urahara in some way? We don't know what was going on back then, and your guess is as many bit as mine, essentially. Um, but he's like, that guy's a keto commander? Damn, that's cool. And I'm, I'm not really, like, freaking out over it, because, like, it goes nowhere. It goes absolutely nowhere. Um, at the beginning of the series, you know, Tessai shows his proficiency of keto when he like trapped Ichigo down in the shaft. God, that sounded weird. that sounded wrong. Um, but after that, and then after his display here in the Turn Back the Pendulum arc, he doesn't even really appear throughout the rest of the series. I don't even think he does. The Fulbring arc, I think he was mentioned, but not during the fake card, not during the uh, the final year Blood War arc. No, so 
yeah, I think Turn Back the Pendulum, or maybe Fake Karakura, I'm pretty sure Turn Back the Pendulum is the last time we see Tessai, like, outside of, like, anime uh, filler and shit. Well, anyway, um, you know, so he, he ends up getting, uh, you know, banished. Well, he was originally going to get sentenced to, uh, uh, what was it, Avicii, I think, the third level of the underground prison for his use of forbidden spells by the Central 46. Um, and instead, he got, uh, he, you know, he escaped with Yoroichi and Uehara to the world of the living, and then that's when they set up the Uehara Shoten, and, you know, he just started working there with Uehara, I guess, just kind of going along with it. Uehara is the brains of the operation, you know, but he seemed pretty badass. Um, that's the last time we really get to see him at all. I mean, Hachi makes, a, you know, more appearances, but that's pretty much it. He doesn't really mention the Keto Core at all. Uh, however, if you've ever seen these guys... And you ever wondered what the hell these guys were up to? These guys, you see them walking around every so often. You got the hoods and the you know the long things in front of them and shit. Um, these guys are the Keto core, okay? Now, what they're responsible for, at least what their jobs are supposed to be, the only jobs that we know about, are that they're responsible for opening and closing the Senkaimon. So every time you see the Senkaimon open up in the Soul Society, whenever people are going to or from the living world, you usually see a few of these guys, you know, hanging around. You know, that's because they're the ones that actually open up the Senkaimon, which makes sense. I would assume it's powered by Keto. You have to open it up, you know. Uh, Uohara is also very proficient at using Keto, so he could open up one as well. Uh, as well as the so Sokyoku. Uh, so, you know, they, um, you know, there's Senkaimon there, and then there's the Sokyoku, and those are the only two instances that we ever see the Keto Core utilizing their vast knowledge of Keto in its entirety. Keep in mind here, by the way, that Keto is apparently a discipline that has, like, easily over well, actually, 200 different techniques, if you really think about it, because we don't know if they go up behind, beyond 100. The highest level one that we ever saw both ways was 99. We saw a level 99 Bakudo and a level 99 Hado. But, okay, let's just say there is no level 100. Let's just say it caps off at 99. We're still talking 198 fucking different kind of keto spells. Actually, there might be more than that, because there was a theory once that it's not, like, one spell for every number. It's just that the number designates the level of difficulty for said spell. Because I think there were, like, two number 12s at one point. I think Momo used, like, two different kinds of number 12. Number 12, that would just do, like, the same level of difficulty, you know? Um, and we, we have, like, a just a bare-bones understanding of how Keto even works in, like, the ranking system, you know? It's just like, alright, once you get into the, the 90s level high and Kidos, they're kind of like, you know, sort of difficult to control and kind of wildly and shit like that. Um... You know, we know that there's certain keto that don't really obey this traditional numbering system. You know, we know how, like, healing keto, how does that work? I mean, sort of, kind of, we got to learn it from Uahana, but that was really just, like, top of the, like, okay, you know, you heal your body first, and then we'd replenish the rest of your body with keto. And it's called kaido, and it's like, alright, but you could explain it maybe a little bit better. I'm sure there's some interesting thing about this here. Um... But that's just, that's just discussing the art form in general, which kind of just falls off the wayside once you get to the final year Blood War arc, uh, because nobody really even uses Keto in the final year Blood War arc. Uh, Shunsui used that Keto Blade once, they used Tente Kura, uh, and then now went out of her way to make a specific barrier called, like, the White, like, the White Shunning Barrier, which was designed to, you know, uh, prevent Quincy's from actually advancing, but that was only used one time. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not something very prominent. I mean, it makes sense, because Quincy's absorb Reatsu, um, but uh, it, it wasn't really used all that much there. So, uh, yeah, th those are the Keto Corps, pretty much. The, the last time we get to see them is when they're taking Aizen out of the underground prison. Remember that that guy that was like, he thought he had a he had a set of brass balls or whatever, and he's just like, excuse me, Shunsui, this, this prisoner's acting uppity. I'll restrain him. And then he approaches Aizen, attempting to restrain him, and then Aizen's Reatsu just lops off his fucking fingers and he's like oh my god i'm like okay you're a fucking dumbass for daring to think that you were more it's like yeah don't worry sir sosuke aizen man who completely overthrew the soul society almost took out all the captains and transcended to a god level to kill the soul king jeremy mcrandom keto corpse member i got this shit um yeah it's kind of ridiculous but i just think there, there could have been so much more to this, you know what I mean? There could have been so much more to this. How awesome would it have been for us to get a little bit more of a look in how the Keto Corp operates? 
You know, I'm not even talking about, like, the Hogwarts thing, but, you know, like, there has to be some sort of history involving this. There has to be, like, it's, like, even, like, like they're, they're, like, keto spell books, right? Like, there has to be a way to teach this stuff. You know, honestly speaking, I think Ichigo, th this is one of the things where I say Ichigo isn't, like, a normal teenager, right? Because, like, there's a few times I've brought that up when he seems less interested in girls than a 15 or 17 year old kid should be. You know, he seems very moral and very, like, I will defend my friends, and he seems, he just seems very mature for a teenager, like what a normal teenager would be. He seems to have a good sense of how the world is, despite being only, like, you know, 15 years old or whatever. But, okay, some people are more mature than others, but I will simply refuse to believe that there is anybody, any 15 year old on the face of this planet that after coming to realization like all right i have these, these awesome powers i'm a shinigami now i have a sword and and i can like throw energy i can you know shoot energy crescent moons at people and i can move at fucking breakneck speeds oh hey look there's also a method where i can learn how to shoot lightning and fire from my fucking hands like there's no way i mean like I'm not saying Ichigo could master it, but I, I, if I was in his shoes, I would walk up to Ukitake or Unohana or somebody and I would be like, hey, um, can you teach me, like, just basic keto? Like, even Rukia! Rukia's right there! You know, like, hey, Rukia, can you teach me how to use, like, I don't know, like, level 4, like, even Byakurai, that seems a massively useful, like, the ability to shoot lightning out of the tip of my finger when your brother, I was fighting him, he just kind of poked me in the shoulder and then blasted out with lightning. Yeah, can you teach me how to do that? I mean, Ichigo's not the smartest hack in the drawer, but, I mean, come on, he should be able to come up with, like, I can use Psy, or I can push people away with show, or, you know, just basic shit. You know, anything into your arsenal is useful, I'm just saying, you know, but he just seemed completely uninterested, and like, nah, it's fine, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it, you know, it's just, it doesn't look like something I would be that into. Um, but, yeah... Okay, I mean, like, and once again, we get to the final arc, and the Soul Society gets leveled, and we don't get to see them outside of that one time when they were going to go release. It, it seems like the Central 46 was kind of acting like, yeah, yeah, the Quincy's completely leveled the Soul Society and killed the Captain Commander, but, you know, business as usual, right? Okay, uh, you want to release Aizen? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm like, um, fucking sense of urgency here, numb nuts. Like, you know, he, oh, 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 Yuha, yeah, Yuha, oh, he just missed him. He went to the fucking Soul Palace to kill God. Oh, look, he killed God. Yeah, well, you know, that stuff kind of just happens. It'll be, it'll turn out okay at the end. We don't have to get anybody else involved here. Uh, it's, I mean, I'm not saying they would be, like, a massive help, but, you know, who replaced Tetsai? Who replaced Hachigen? You know, and look at all the crazy shit Hachigen did, like, I know he had the augmented hollow powers, but holy crap! It was essentially because of his power that they managed to kill Baragon. Because remember, you might think, oh, well, no, well, Soyphone helped out a bit too. No, she really fucking didn't. Soyphone, okay, they had the, the tag team attack where, you know, he seals Baragon with the, the four beast barrier or whatever. That looks badass. And then Soyphone nukes him close range with Chakaho Raikoban. But Baragon, he, he got out of that no problem. The left, I mean, his mask was broken, like his skull was broken, but that was it. It was Hachi that was the one that actually took him down. And it was actually remarkably simple. You know, the way he took him down. You know, all he can do is like, oh yeah, by the way, I can uh, separate my arm using a barrier and then I can just teleport that barrier wherever I decide, uh, including inside yourself. So it's a good thing I have that handing ability to teleport things. Um, so just look at all the crazy shit that Hachi did. I mean, Baragon was kind of an idiot too. I mean, he was sort of like going on a monologue and that kind of... I'm not going to give all the credit to Hachi, but he has more of the credit than Soyphone. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that just, it didn't, it just, Soy, I mean, he could have killed him without Soyphone's help, if, if he could have, because it just took him longer for Hachi to figure it out, like, oh, okay, you were going off on that monologue, explaining about your powers and everything, and, oh, okay, that gave me the idea to do, to do that, you know, so, Soyphone, you didn't, I didn't really need your help, Soyphone, it's cool, it's cool, the deal, the deal's off. I wonder what ever became of that, too, the whole Hachi sealing Uohara in a barrier for a month, I wonder how that played out. Um, but yeah, this one, I, I, I'm not even mad with this one. I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's just like, there was no buildup, so there's really no way for me to be, like, really upset about this. Um, it would have been cool if we got to see more of the Keto Core. 
It would have been nice if we got to see who was part of it, who replaced Tetsai, who replaced Hachi, why they didn't appear during the Soul Society, I um, mean, during the uh, fake Karakura Town arc, not the fake Karakura Town, fuck, the final year Blood War arc, you know, freaking too many Fs. Um, it would have been fun. It would have been cool. Uh, you know, I was just thinking about them today, you know, honestly, and uh, I thought, you know, I, I, I feel bad for them. I feel really bad for them because no one gives a shit. It, no, I, I'm pretty sure no one's even made a video about them on YouTube because they're the fucking Keto Core. No one cares. <sighs> Except Muramasa because his hilt of his sword kind of resembled the Keto Core's logo. So I guess he was sort of a Keto Core fanboy, I guess. I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah, leave your discussion below on all the cool things. I mean, in fan fiction, they blossom. I mean, it's just because that's actually where, like, a great aspect of it uh, that fan fiction writers go look forward, uh, look forward to. You know, they look at, like, um, okay, little aspects of a story that were alluded to but not flushed out as much. And then that just gives you so much opportunity to expand upon. You know, so there's a lot of fan fiction that takes advantage of that. Like, oh, I'm looking for this thing in the story that, okay, they kind of mentioned this, but not really. So I can just kind of make it my own and do whatever. So in that respect, it's a good thing. But in terms of like an actual storytelling device or setting something up, it just goes nowhere. Unless maybe that was whole Kubo's thing. Like, he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to hint at the Keto core in the Soul Society arc just so I can introduce Tessai and Hachi in the Turn Back the Pendulum arc. And that's it. We don't need to know anything more about them after that. That's It's fine. It's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Probably the only Keto Core video you're ever going to watch on YouTube. So soak it in. Um, signing out. Wingardium Leviosa.